I actually felt like from a young age that I would probably adopt a child. And probably because we always had somebody at home. So was it odd or different? And I just felt like one day that would be me. And so then over time, you know, I would propose it to Tony, my husband. And at first he was like, I don't know, I don't know. And then one day, you know, the opportunity presented itself and we became foster parents. Our first little person that we fostered um, was a baby boy. And I remember he had a lot of medical needs that we were trying to sort out. So Tony was a little nervous about it. And, but then he just kind of like softened up to this baby. And the great thing was we had a really good connection with the mother. When they got this little guy back, our next um, foster, and I'll never forget, we're in the basement and I had all this stuff on the floor and he was a baby and he was playing and Tony was afraid to engage because I think he felt a little loss from the first one. And then I said, babe, it's okay, you can pick him up. And boom, that was it. I think he never put him down after that. <laughs> the idea is always, we're gonna take care of them. This child is gonna be treated like all the other children in our house. We're gonna love on them. And then when it's your time, then you're gonna get your child back. Because the whole purpose is that whatever that parent is going through, we want them to succeed and we want them to get their children back. That is the ultimate goal. So fast forward, now I'm a single parent, which was something I never imagined myself being a single parent. And as time went on and, and with a good support, the church, they called, uh, it, it was just great. It was really great. I think it just feels like a relief. It feels when you have someone who understands and you know they understand, it's almost like looking across the room and you are frustrated about a situation and you make eye contact with that one person and you're just like, oh, you get it. And you just know that they get it and you feel like, oh, okay, I can get through this, I can make it. That's what it feels like. I don't know who came up with that slogan, like there's no such thing as a perfect parent. I love that because people do say, I don't know how you can do it. I don't know how you could be a foster parent and have this child in your home. All the accidents and mistakes you make with your kids, that's me. I do the same thing <laughs> and it's okay. You know, we get back up and we try again. We learn and we keep moving. So don't be afraid. Prayer and friends who pray and family who prays, Without that, there's no way I could do this, period. It's just impossible. I can't imagine having to go through life without knowing that there's someone that I can go to that's above it all and who sees it all and who understands it and sees past my situation when times I don't see past my situation. I can't imagine you know, I really could not imagine having to live like that. There's no way I could be a foster parent, a mother, a friend without that.